Sovereignty of God and Sin of Man. The Lord who created the universe never enslaves his creatures. For example, just before the start of the Mahabharata war between the Pandavas and Kauravas, Arjuna asked Krishna to park his chariot between the two armies, because he wanted to see who was in the enemy rank. Krishna without further ado stopped the chariot between the two armies as requested by Arjuna. Did not Krishna know that when Arjuna sees his close kinsmen in the enemy ranks, he would say, Alas! They are all my own relatives, how can I fight and kill them? I cannot fight. But Krishna did not command Arjuna, Ah! I am God, you must listen and obey what I say. I won't do what you say. Fight. God did not exercise his sovereignty there. The Lord who created us, who gives us food to eat, clothes to wear, and a place to stay and nourishes us, even though he has full authority to control us as he pleases, why even enslave us, he does not do that to us. So how can one man bring another man under any control or bondage? This is a lesson to all kings, ministers, owners of various establishments and capitalists, and all human beings in this world. No one should be made a slave or held in servitude in this world. There should be bondage except for love. If we do so, we are acting against God's commands and norms. If we act contrary to God's thoughts, we will incur God's displeasure and we will be subject to punishment. God alone is the sovereign king. To be continued? In God's grace. Babu Ram